I'm Diane at Healing Bodies, Healing Souls. And I've been doing this for a while. And what I'm really good at is, is listening to people's language and how you say it tells me everything. Now, some people will say yes automatically. They don't even think about what they said yes to. And some people will say no and not mean no. So this moment is all about what you say follow through so people know that when you speak, you speak your truth. I was at the, the gym a while back, and one lady, an older lady, I heard her saying, complaining to some of her friends that she just can't say no to people. And I leaned over, I looked over, and I says, I can teach you to say no. No. Hell no. Fuck no. Not going to happen, no. Very clear to my no. And we all laughed. And I saw her a few minutes later in the parking lot. And I said, I hope I wasn't too rough and I, I didn't mean to jump into your conversation. But at our ages, we have the right to say yes and we have the right to say no. We have the right to be who we are. And she burst into tears. I gave her a hug and she said, I wish I would have known that years ago. And I said, I'm, I'm just Diane. And if you needed permission to speak your truth, to say no when no makes sense to you and yes when yes makes sense to you, then I give you permission. It's a point in time that when you speak, it should make sense to you. And it's not necessarily that you lie. You just are so not in the moment, standing up for yourself, standing up for the moment, that you just kind of fall down and you get stepped on. And that ain't cool either. So as you move forward and the more of these videos of mine that you listen to, Please understand, I want to give you wisdom. I want to give you insight. I want that when we have a conversation, for you to be able to say yes in my presence and say no in my presence, and that I'll be okay with the yes or no. But for the love of God, give me a straight answer. That's all I'm wanting. That's all I'm asking for people. Can I borrow your car? No. Thank you. Can I borrow your car? Yes, but only between one and two. Okay, won't work, but thank you. What it is, it's a conversation. Adults have conversations. And you'll see this in your relationships. Romantic and or friends and or in business. And if you can say a, a strong no or strong yes, I respect you more. And then I know that when you speak, you're speaking your truth and you're just being right with yourself and right with me. I don't want wishy-washy at all. Because then you're disrespecting um, that moment that I'm in, that moment with you. So it's okay to say no, it's okay to say yes. But speak your truth. You're a grown person. You're an adult. Now, a four-year-old may not be able to, I ate the last cookie. They may not be able to process that enough and be able to speak the truth. But they're four. Their mental capacity is much lower. It hasn't developed. Yours has. And if you don't answer fully, then in truth, I'll never get to know you well on a personal level. You want to go see a movie? <laughs> um, okay. Find out a year later, you don't like movies. I would rather have you said, well, it's not one of my favorite things to do. Oh, well, what would be? We can go bowling. No, that's not one of my favorites. Because remember, I'm honest. So then we'll flip a coin. <coughs> Excuse me. Think of something else. But we'll have an adult conversation and I'll know that person more. They'll know me more. 
And then that's when friendship, loyalty, trust, respect can show up. I had a girlfriend of probably 25 years and uh, she has a lot of control issues. And I'm like, eh. But one time we were out, we needed to have dinner before we were going to go do something. I said, oh, what do you want for dinner? I don't care. I said, okay. So I pull up my phone, looking at um, Yelp. And I said, well, there's a Mexican restaurant, mile and a half, looks good. And she's like, okay. So we went. After dinner, I said to her, well, the meal is okay. I don't think I'd ever go back. But what was your experience? She looked at me. She's like, I don't like going to Mexican restaurants. That ended that moment our 25-year relationship as friends. Because if you're going to play that small, and then when it's too late to... Because my goal was for that we both had a good experience. And if she would have said at the very beginning, I... You're not going to say like Mexican food. Is there any other place? I would have said absolutely. There's a hamburger shop. There's a uh, Italian. There's all different kinds. But since she didn't speak and then later told me, I just said enough was enough. And I'm not going to hang out with people like that anymore. And that was really the last time we got together. And that was 25 years. Why? Because I ask questions. We all do. And I expect your answer to be given to me. Because if you can't, then there's no foundation to friendship, to openness, to trust. The yin and yang, the back and forth. So think about this for a moment, please. When, without, when you're out with your friends, if they say, hey, let's go see a horror movie, I'm like, oh, I can't see a horror movie. Go have fun. I'll catch you afterwards. We'll do something before. But I'm not going to tag along because I don't want you to tag along with me not having a good time. Why? Because we just need to have a conversation. And if you have a hard time with conversations, then let's look at that. If you have a hard time showing up for yourself and speaking your truth, let's work on that. Because in the adult world, in the business world, in the friendship world, and in the relationship of intimacy world, everything is based on communication. And there's just a point in time where you're just going to grow up and show up and be an equal. And it's time right now. And the more that you start to do that, your whole world will change. Trust me on this one. It's time to live full. It's time to really show up for yourself so that you can gift the other people the value of who you are because you're showing up with that value. And that is just some beautiful work. And it's okay if you can't do it, but we've got to change it. You can't just continue to do it now that you know it can mess things up. So now that you know, it is your job to fix it. It's nobody else's. You're in, a, you're in the adult world. And once you learn the tools, it'll be easy. And life will be so much more rewarding. I know this stuff. So reach out. Free consultations, the whole nine yards on Zoom. I can't make it any easier other than knocking at your door and trust me. That's what I had to do to get you to feel good about yourself. I, I pretty much almost do that. So go ahead and breathe. Know that life is like an equation and it's just a few little things need to be tweaked, need to be changed. And then life can show up so much more richer. Work is going to be so much stronger. Families can be so much more. I had a lady um, here at my home. She flat out lied to her husband right in front of me. 
flat out lied to him. And I didn't have the heart to point it out to her in front of her husband. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to do that at all. But there's a point in time that you could probably put some good money, not even knowing them, that their relationship is poor in communication, in intimacy, in love, in connections. It's flat out poor. Because if you don't have good communication skills, you have really nothing to offer. And I help people communicate, speak truth, show up so the world can see who you are, and that people can like and love you more because you're showing up with self-respect at a very high level. And it'll be fun most times. So reach out, please. I look forward to serving you as much as I can as we move forward. And I know that you can do this. And trust me, on my watch, you will not fail. This I can 100% guarantee you. So thank you for listening. Thank you for your time. I wish you happiness. I wish you love. And I wish for you to grow. Thank you.